we're just gonna have a little bit of fun with it and make it, it is the arrow right beside your name. Okay, so I don't need to pin it. It's so confusing, Instagram, why do you do this to me? Okay, I'll pin it just in case, and so now it's everywhere so everyone knows. Today is not a stretch session. We are gonna work at our own pace because it's time, so whatever you can do in those time intervals. I tried to make it as fun as possible so that we enjoy ourselves while we are suffering. So again, we'll wait uh, another three minutes for people to join. I'm gonna save this workout on my feed on IGTV, so hopefully I don't have any issues with Instagram. If I have to mention that I don't have the copyright to the music, I don't, but it's gonna be playing in the background to help us get through what's coming. So basically, um, for those of you that are here already, all you need is just your body weight and a mat. If you want to be like super extra today and you want to kill it harder, <laughs> that's not even a sentence, uh, you can grab weights and then you can have them nearby and then for any of the lower body exercises, you can use the weights to make it harder, but it's gonna hurt without the weights, I promise. So it's gonna basically be six different um, exercises. We're gonna go through every exercise for the first round for 60 seconds. So that's gonna be the worst one. We're gonna get it out of the way. Second round, we're going down to 50 seconds, 40, 30, 20. I don't think we're gonna do 10, cause that's like, it's not enough time to do much. So basically from 60 seconds down to 20, same six exercises. Each exercise is basically more of a compound movement, so there's like two different exercises within it that you're moving back and forth from. Sounds confusing? It's gonna be fine. You guys are gonna love it. And again, because it's timed, you can go as slow or as fast as you want through it. So because today is more of a warm uh, morning, early morning, I'm gonna go like a slower pace. On Saturday mornings, normally I'd just go crazy and kill it but today we're gonna go at a nice, comfortable pace. So for those of you joining, today is not a stretch session. We are stretching tomorrow on City Shred, so we're gonna work hard today, and then tomorrow we'll stretch it all out. Today's gonna be a full body workout. We'll target lower body, upper body, and we'll do some core. No cardio, really, so you're good for that. And then before we begin, we're gonna do a little warm-up mobility session just to make sure that we are prepped and ready to go. Okay, put the music a little louder. Please don't kick me off Instagram. And if you have music and you wanna place to put in your background as well, you're more than welcome to. Um, after the first round, when you know what the exercises are, you don't really need to hear me blabbering unless you wanna keep hearing the cues over and over again, which sometimes I think helps. All right. So we're gonna start standing and we're gonna go into our spinal rolls and walk out. So <clears throat> keeping your feet hip width apart. From here we're gonna gently fold down. So you're just gonna let the upper body, shoulders, head, everything melt down towards the floor. From here you can shake it out a couple times and we just wiggle side to side, maybe bouncing up and down. And then nice and easy, placing your hands onto the floor. You're gonna start to slowly walk it out all the way into a plank. Hold it here. You're gonna touch one shoulder, then the other. Notice there's minimal movement through my hips. Just nice and easy, soften the knees, walking it all the way back. Keep those knees soft, and you're gonna roll up all the way to the ceiling. Reach your arms up and overhead, big stretch. And then as you exhale again, we fold forward, melting everything towards the floor. Again, wiggling out through the head, the shoulders. You can bounce through the hips here. You can kind of move side to side. So keep it moving the whole time. Again, back into our plank. This time we're gonna do four taps. So tapping one shoulder, nice and slow. Don't rush. Three and four. Beautiful, soft knees. You're gonna walk it back nice and easy. And then again here, rolling up one vertebra at a time. Inhale, reach your arms up, take another deep breath in. Exhale, dive forward, melt. Walk it back out. We are doing six. One, nice and slow. Two. 
Again, you can open up the legs wider if it helps with stability. Three, four, five, last one, six, and we're gonna walk it back. Again, keeping the knees soft, rolling up one vertebra at a time. I'm gonna do one more time, because eight is my favorite number. Reach your arms up and overhead. Exhale, melt. Shake things out one last time here. And then slowly start to walk it out into a plank. Last one for one. Going for eight here. Two, three, four, five. Nice and slow, guys. Keep those glutes engaged. Five, six. I might not be counting right. Seven and eight. Beautiful. Staying in this position, you're going to step the right foot to the outside edge of the right hand. And then from here, you're just going to melt the hip, the opposite knee towards the ground and then lifting it up. So we're just going to go nice and easy, just little pulses, drop the left knee, and then you're engaging that left quad, straightening out the leg. Chest comes through, nice flat back. Just doing like little taps here. Beautiful. <clears throat> Keep that knee up lifted now. We're going to rotate. You're going to drop the elbow down. And you're gonna open up into a little twist. And then again, going at your own pace. Now my left leg is completely extended. It's nice and straight. Just breathing through. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, stack the shoulders, reach that arm up and overhead. Beautiful. Let's do one more. And then slowly drop that hand down. You're gonna release. The right leg, left leg comes to the outside edge of the left hand. And the same thing here, drop and tap the ground with your left knee and then the right knee, sorry, and then straighten out the leg. A little tap, straighten it out. And I'm straightening, I'm really driving through that heel and activating through my quads here. Chest stays nice and proud, so I'm not rounding out, I'm staying pressing into the floor. Nice, one more, hold. Keep that active. We're gonna go into our rotation. So drop the left elbow down. Exhale, twist. Down and twist. Going at your own pace here. If the comments are bothering you, I heard that if you tap the screen and just pull them down, there'll be less of them for you to see. So if they're in the way, I apologize. One more here. Beautiful, release that leg back, take a deep breath in, exhale into your down dog. And we're gonna go from plank, nice and controlled, make sure you're not dropping the hips, keep the tailbone slightly tucked. Exhale, push back. Inhale to plank, exhale to pike or down dog. And again, moving nice and easy. You can keep a slight bend in the knees here, you don't have to straighten out the legs all the way, but we are trying to find a nice stretch to the back of the legs. So the more you sink those heels down, the deeper the stretch will be. Beautiful, let's do one more. Perfect, and then from here, you're gonna come back into your plank, you're gonna walk the feet slightly forward, enough for you to sink into a nice deep squat. From here, you're gonna just start to shift your weight side to side. So again, just lifting the heels, working a little bit through the ankles, open up the toes nice and wide. And we're just shifting, getting nice and deep into those hips. Perfect, we're gonna go into a little bit of hinge and squat action together. So from here, I want you to try to plant your heels. If this is too low and you find that you're rounding out the spine, I want the spine to be nice and long, lifting a little bit higher. So find a squat position where you can really drop the hips but open up the knees and have a nice straight spine here, making sure that the angle of your shin and torso are similar. Take a deep breath in. As we exhale, all you're gonna do is you're gonna extend the hips up, finding a stretch through the hamstrings, lengthening again from the tailbone to the crown of the head. Hold here. A little bit more engagement. Drive those heels into the ground. Pull yourself all the way up. And we're gonna go back the opposite way. So again, extend, find your hip hinge. So imagine like somebody just chopped your hips and then pushed them back towards that wall. I'm finding that stretch and activation through the back line. From here, I'm gonna to start to sink my hips down as if I'm pulling myself into the ground, creating lots of tension, opening up those knees, chest is proud. Hold, 
and let's bring it back again. Start to extend those hips up, creating lots of engagement to the back line of the body. Squeeze a little more to pull yourself up. Good, three more times. Reach back, pull yourself into the floor, drive those knees apart. Ribs are tucked in so I'm not flaring or rounding out. Nice and neutral. Extend those hips back up and squeeze. Good, two more. So push, push, push. Find that engagement. Pull now into the floor, drive the knees out. Nice and strong, you squeeze and push your hands into each other to create a bit more tension. Extend those hips back. Squeeze to come up. Nice, one more time. Extend back. Pull yourself down into the ground. Hold for three, two, and one. Lift those hips up, create tension, squeeze, come all the way back up. Beautiful, we're gonna do one more thing. Opening up the legs nice and wide, we're gonna go into our lateral lunge. So shifting all of our weight over to the right side. My left leg is nice and straight. Again, if you're really tight, stay a little higher. I'd rather you stay here, than come down to here and so you crumple up. So pushing those hips back, find nice extension. Coming back to center, full engagement to the legs. And now my left leg is gonna activate to pull me over to the left side. Feet are gonna be parallel to each other. Again, chest is nice and proud. Lifting back up, pulling yourself over. A couple more like this. Then you'll see as you open up, as you become more aware of what's happening, maybe you can go a little bit lower, but as long as you're not compromising your form. So you're always initiating that movement by pushing those hips back, sinking in. And then back to center. Let's do one more on each side. And I think we're ready to start. One more right. Beautiful, back to center, and then left. And then here you can heel toe your feet. And we're gonna get started. So again, for those of you that joined a little bit late, today we're doing a ladder workout, so six different circuits or exercises. First round, we're doing everything for 60 seconds, so a minute. Then we go to 50 seconds, 40, 30, 20. And that is it. So, exercise number one. You're gonna stay nice and low into a nice squat here. You're gonna squat to the side, center, squat to the other side. Then from here, you're gonna go straight into a lateral lunge, center, lateral lunge to the other side. So basically, lateral squats to full lateral lunge. And that's what we're doing for 60 seconds. All right. So the first round is the longest round. We just gotta push through it. We're also learning the movements so starting in three, two, one, let's go. So nice and low, almost like you're doing like little pulses. And then from here you go into a lateral lunge. Stay low, lateral to the other side. Back to your squat. Squat, squat, lateral, lateral. Again, here you set your own pace. If you wanna go super slow, for some reason, you don't want to stay low, you can come up after everyone. Same thing here, you can come up all the way. All the way, same thing, if you want to, or I would, I'm gonna keep it low. So there's different modifications that you can do depending on how you want to modify this workout, how you want to make it work for you. Maybe you just want to do the low taps for the squats and then the lunges, maybe you want to come up all the way. That's totally fine too. So see what works for you, what challenges you, what feels good in your body, and then stick to that. Good, that's time. See, so easy. Okay, round number two. Oh, we're not sitting. It's gonna be unilateral work. So single leg hinge to reverse lunge. So I'm gonna place my left foot on the ground. First exercise is a hinge, so we just did earlier. You're gonna pull back up. Then you're gonna go into a reverse lunge. So hinge, whoop, I fell to reverse lunge. I'm gonna keep the stance a little bit closer for me so it's a little bit more glute dominant. So I'm here instead of like here. This is gonna be more quads, this is a little bit more glutes. So up to you what you wanna work. We're gonna do 60 seconds on one side, it's gonna burn. Three, two, one, let's go. So again, you're hinging, keep the hips square to the ground, pulling back up, 
straight into a reverse lunge. You've seen my workouts. This is a really good one. I quite enjoy it. So you're combining two exercises, even though it's body weight. Targeting those glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, so really good lower body. And you're working one side at a time, so unilateral work is so important to create balance in the body. Focus on those weak spots. First round, guys, is going to be the worst one. So again, here, moving at your own pace. If you have weights in your hands, keep them by your side. Make sure that you don't round forward. And then same thing when you go into your lunge. But if you have body weight, just as challenging. You got this. Good, that's time. Opposite leg on the ground. Let's go straight into our hinge and reverse lunge. So you're hinging first, push those hips back, activate the back line, pull back to center, lunge right into it. And take your time here. So you might notice one side might be more stable than the other. That's fine, take your time. And pay attention to how your body starts to adjust Really trying to work on stabilizing this knee of the standing leg. So making sure it doesn't collapse inwards. Making sure that it's always tracking your ankle. Perfect, we're almost there. Now we're gonna go into our push-ups. That's it, a couple more. First round, 60 seconds. The most challenging one, the longest one. Oh, balance, good. Now we're gonna go onto the floor. We're gonna get into our push-ups, two different types. So, this is how it's gonna look. I'm really shedding here. First one is gonna be a pike. So I want you to go from your plank, you're gonna go into your down dog. Hips are nice and high. You can have a soft bend in the knees. You're gonna bring yourself down to the floor. Elbows are slightly tucked in. Pushing back up to your plank. You lower all the way to the ground. Release your hands, reach forward. Pull the elbows in. So we're working on waking up that back. From here, you bring your hands back down. You can push up onto your knees. Back to your pike. And up, down, all the way to the floor. Reach your arms forward. Pull the elbows in, wake up everything here. Shoulder blades should slide down and back. And I'm not doing an extension here, I'm staying fairly neutral, my glutes are on. And that's it for 60 seconds. Woo, starting in three, two, one, let's go. So remember, elbows slightly tucked in, plank, lower down with control. Pull those elbows in, hold control in here. Hands down, you can use your knees to reset. Or just push all the way up on your toes. Reach, pull, come back up. Nice, always coming back to that plank. Hips and shoulders should be in one straight line. Reaching back, pulling those elbows in. Reset, find that pipe push up. Making sure those elbows are always about 45 degrees in. They should never be in line with your shoulders. We want to make sure that we're not crunching the neck. Whew. Almost there. One rep at a time, guys. And time. Turning it over onto our backs. Okay, all core now. So gonna be three alternating bicycles. So we're gonna go one, two, three, back where we started, and then here you're gonna add a little crunch. So just my upper body crunches up, then I go one, two, three to the other side, little crunch up. And that's it for 60 seconds. Let's lower this down a little bit. Starting in three, two, one, let go. So one, Two, three, hold, little crunch. One, two, three, little crunch. Keep moving. That's it. With control. 
go into the full motion, making sure that leg fully extends. Try to get that knee close to the elbow. Crunch it up. The burn. Anybody remember the song? <laughs> Old school. Let's go, let's go. A little crunch in the middle is so important for that burn. Crunch it up. Almost there. We have another core exercise right after this. So make sure we push. Good. Time. Turning it over back into our plank. All right. This is what the exercise is going to look like. Starting into your plank, you're going to bring the right knee towards your chest. You're going to do a little tap on the ground. From here, you're going to pull up so you're rounding the spine. Imagine that you're trying to kick yourself in the chest, and then you lower back down. So you're going to do three taps, then you reach back, other side. Three taps. One, two, three. After you've done both legs, you drop down to your forearms, and then you reach one, two, three. Three, knee to the outside of the elbow, three on the other side. And then you go back to the beginning again. Oh, it's gonna burn, especially for this first round. Starting in three, two, one, let go. So again, knee right under the chest, pull. One, two, you're rounding to the spine, three, other side, tap, pull in. One, two, three. Then release, drop onto your forearms, knee to the outside elbow three times. Two, three, one, two, three. Back up, Woo. pulling in. One, two, three, burning, tap. Again, you're rounding, pushing the floor away from you. Feel the shoulder blades separating. You're like puffing out the spine, dropping down, hips and shoulders, and line through shoulders. One, Two, three, one, two, three, back up, couple more, let's go. One, two, three, holy shit. Okay, time. Whoa, that was hard. Okay, so that's one round, guys. If you're still with me, yay. Now we do it all over again, but we take the time down. To 50 seconds. <sighs> so, if you guys are still live, still here. All right. You need a quick drain, grab it. Not too much though. So, going back into our squats to lateral lunges. In three, oh, two, one.
in. 45 degrees. We're gonna keep the neck nice and long here. Shoulders should be away from your ears as you move through it. Bit by bit, let's go. Full body control and engagement here. Use your knees if you need to. Then push up, do your pike. Pull forward. Good, yay. Time, turning over. Three alternating bicycles, remember with the little crunch. 50 seconds, three, two, one. Let's go, so one, two, three, hold. Little crunch, one, two, three, hold. So you can come up a little bit more. Show your breathing, guys. That's it. And just alternating. Doing three, ending up on the other side. And then you're crunching up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Push. Couple more here. Take your time. You need to stretch it out, stretch it and get back into it. Make sure you do that crunch, it's so important. And time. Okay, this is the worst one I think for me personally. It sucks. Why did I put it in here? Okay, so get into your plank. Three, two, one, let's go. So remember, knee comes just underneath the hips or slightly under the chest, pulling in. Like you're kicking yourself in the stomach. Three, other side. One, two, three. Back over onto your forearms. One, two, three. Knee to the outside edge of the elbow. Three, back up. Knee comes under the chest. Tap, pull. Pull, round the whole spine up. Other side. Oh my God. Back down. Elbow, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, time. Whew. Okay, that is round two. Set my timer. You guys still alive? Yeah. Okay. Going down to 40 seconds. We're getting close, guys. After 40, it's gonna be like so quick. I don't even know why I shower and wash my hair. What is the point? Okay, ready guys? Round three, 40 seconds. It's gonna feel like heaven compared to that first round. Starting in three, two, one, let's go. So little tap, little tap, full lateral lunge. Stay low or come out of, out of it if it feels better. And another side, let's go. Side to side. We're moving in every direction today. That's it. Again, if it feels good, you can come up all the way. Or you can stay low. Let's go. Moving at your own pace. Make sure the knees are always driving out away from each other. Don't let them collapse. We're always looking for... That's it! Wow! So great. <laughs> the left leg planted. Let's start doing the work with the right. Hinge, pull up, straight into your lunge. Keep it close. With control, the hips always drive back. That's it. Whew. Take your time, don't rush it. If you find that balance is an issue, just move slowly through it. Connect, see what you need to change. Maybe the angles.
elbow slightly tucked, pull forward, lower to the floor, reach arms. Hinging, reverse lunge. Keep those hips square. That's it. Couple more. Woo. Don't rush it just because it's the last time. Still make sure that you're doing quality movements. It's more important than rushing through it. Time. Let's switch. Let's go. Making sure you're keeping the spine long when you reach forward. That's it. Make sure you come full hip extension from that hinge so you squeeze the glutes and then you reverse lunge.
You got this. Ooh. Full body effort and tension. Time. Bicycles, just regular 20 seconds. Let's go. Shoulders and head are off the ground, fully rotating. Breathe, breathe, breathe through it. Let's go. Whew. Sit, pedal out. Time. Last one. Mountain climbers, 20 seconds. We are done. Let's go. Knees to chest. Sprint it out. Press the floor away from you. Two rounding shoulders should be separate from each other, so we're not dropping like this. Staying lifted. Hips and lines, shoulders. Go sprint at home. You got this. Time. Oh! All right, guys. High five, high five, high five. That is it, guys. We are done our ladder for today. Who stayed with me the whole time? Let me know. If you didn't, I'm gonna try to say this in my IGTV uh, section, and then you can do it any other time you would like. That was so beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Happy you found that beautiful. It was like a beautiful slow day. Um, but yeah, I feel like I just took like a really hot shower right now, so really good start to the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's cross our fingers and hope that this will post today. Um, tomorrow we're gonna stretch it out. Join me on City Shred at 9 a.m. and we'll get everything feeling better. So we're gonna be sore after today for sure. All right guys, sweaty and fabulous. Yay! Thanks for joining guys. Have a wonderful Thursday and I will see you guys tomorrow.